Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996, and in 2012, I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Conroe, Texas. Conroe is located north of Houston. We are in the Pioneer Trails subdivision and we're standing in front of 17004 Deep Woods Trail. That's 17004 Deep Woods Trail. This is a big five bedroom, three bath home, two story, approximately 2,994 square feet. It was built in 1989 and it sits on a very large 2.59 acre lot, just under three acres, just over two and a half acres. I'll do my best to give you an aerial view of the lot size and shape, but it's always a good idea to get a survey. The home is about $15,000 underneath the county appraisal, and it is eligible for the $100 down payment incentive as well as repair money. And it will definitely need some repairs, as you can see from the exterior. I believe this house possibly took on water back with Hurricane Harvey. The siding has been replaced on the lower half. It's going to need some wood rot repair, some painting, it might even need a new roof. We'll come around the exterior and you can see the siding and the roof and everything, it's just a little sloppy. I think it could be a nice home. I think it has a lot of potential, especially with the huge lot, but it is going to need some TLC for sure. Painting around the windows. You have a door that actually takes you inside here. Going to this little fenced backyard area. As you can see several different kinds of siding and it actually looks like there's been a few additions made to the home. There's a little pond right out back behind the home. It is covered with moss but that's kind of neat. Maybe you can clear that away, have your own little private little tank there. And then on the exterior there is some wood rot on this little upper section here and there are a number of doors that actually give you access to outside so it's interesting home probably need to be completely resided with new siding but as i said a lot of potential it's under the county appraisal you're on a big lot and you can borrow money to do all of these repairs so let's take a look at the inside when we step inside you will notice that most of the walls have new sheetrock on the lower portion that's probably because it flooded there's also a very unique difference, <laughs> difference in the tile. This entry tile is one tile and then the dining and living area is a separate tile. And it doesn't actually even look like it's straight. So you're going to want to have the flooring completely redone. In fact, I think the first thing I recommend you do is to have the foundation fixed and then completely redo the flooring. Now when you walk in, if we turn to the left here, we have a, what could be a formal dining room right off of the kitchen. It's going to need obviously flooring, uh, sheetrock, paintwork, sheetrock repair, and trim work. We then have an opening here into your kitchen. So the kitchen is actually one of the nicer parts of the home. Looks like new cabinetry, relatively new countertop. This is a really nice space. Lots of countertop space, lots of cabinetry. Right over here we have your breakfast area. And this is another very nice space. I like how big the breakfast area is. Obviously you're going to need to do a lot of touching up in here. Some trim work around the windows. Maybe you consider replacing the windows, but this is a very nice breakfast area into the kitchen. We then have this interesting room here. This is actually a laundry room with access to getting into the backyard. The laundry room has your washer and dryer connections. Obviously you have a lot of storage. And then interestingly enough, back here, you have a tub and a commode. There's no sink in here, but the water heater is also housed in there. So this is just kind of an interesting room that you have a, a sink and, I'm sorry, a tub and a commode in there. We then make our way into your family room. So this is where most of your you know, family living will take place. Going to definitely need some flooring, going to definitely need some uh, foundation work and some painting and a little bit of sheetrock work as well. Back in the corner we have another, uh, actually the, on this wall we have a, a door that takes you out to the backyard, but I want to show you this edge here of the ceiling. It looks like there was water damage. And we're going to come up to the right of the front door when you walk in and you'll see it's like a formal living room right up front. So this is really like a formal space here. And it has kind of an interesting architectural design in here. If I pan up, you'll see you have actually access to looking upstairs. So this is 
a very unique, very interesting space. And then this wall over here has a little a jog out on it. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it doesn't lie flush. So just kind of an interesting layout. And then in this closet, they just kind of pieced together some tile. So downstairs, definitely quite a bit of work. At least it has a fireplace. Now coming around the corner over here, we have bedroom number one or your master bedroom. Master bedroom has access to getting into the backyard through this door here. We actually have access to the side of the home. This would be the master bath. Now it is missing the, um, a vanity here. It has access for a vanity. It looks like a drain and water lines. Come around the corner here, we have your big garden tub. It's gonna need some sheetrock work up here. Sheetrock is a bit damaged. And then in this enclosure here is where we have your commode and a second uh, vanity and then more storage. So it actually has a potential for two vanities in here. Down at the center of the master, we have your walk-in closet. And then the master actually has this door that comes into a second room, kind of like an office. So this could potentially be an office. You'll want to do something about that storage there. And this office actually has its own door that closes into this hallway. Now we'll take a look upstairs, but just to give you an idea of how we just came around, that was the master bedroom, and then that was that secondary office. So we'll make our way up these stairs, which definitely need to be redone. We get upstairs, we have this interesting landing, and we all saw that space below, that formal living room. And at the end of the hallway here, we have actually, we'll call this bedroom number two. Bedroom number two does have a door that takes you out, gives you a little balcony view of the front yard there. Tiny closet. Little storage space with an interesting window. We then have full bathroom number two, which is a shower and tub combo. Your commode, and then your big single vanity. And then continuing down the hallway upstairs, little nooks and crannies. Bedroom number three. Bedroom number three is going to need some flooring repair that door and some sheetrock work. And then down at the end of the hall here, bedroom number four, which has its own door and balcony outside. And we'll need flooring and some sheetrock work as you can tell. That's about it. Interesting home, as I say, it's going to need quite a bit of work. It's going to need to have a good eye for design. It's gonna probably need a roof. If we pan up here, you can see some of the ceiling is damaged get the foundation inspected. I mean, this is a huge project, but it has a lot of potential. And as I said, it's on a little over two acres. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 17004 Deep Woods Trail. That's 17004 Deep Woods Trail up in Conroe, Texas. And very interesting four bedroom, three bath home. It is going to need considerable work, but it is on a large 2.59 acre lot. It's eligible for the $100 down payment incentive and it's listed right now for only $164,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.